panic and chaos as Muslims brutally attack Christians. See what they did to four powerful pastors. The president of Quara Baptist Conference, Reverend Victor Dada, has stated that over at least 20 people, including four pastors, were wounded and three hospitalized when Muslim fundamentalists attacked the First Baptist Church Surulere Ilori Quara State on Wednesday. It's important to know that Reverend Victor disclosed that Muslim fundamentalists promised to burn down the three-story building where Christians were gathered for a peaceful demonstration within the state. However, edujadon.com reported that a clash broke out between Christians and Muslims over a controversy bordering on the use of hijab by Muslim students in Christian schools in the state. Dada alleged that Muslims threw stones at Christians for over one hour after they overpowered the police, forcefully removed the gate, signboard of the school and injuring over 20 people, including four pastors. Thank you for listening to this news. This uh, menace in Quara is gradually becoming something else and I suggest that immediate attention need to be given to this unnecessary immediate attention need to be given because i see no reason why these people will be constituting nuisance it is very simple and it is stated clearly how can they be using a job in a mixed school a school that is either a christian school or an islamic school I thought that, 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 is, that there is a situation that will warrant that in a mixed school. And that is when they are having a, any, uh, any uh, societal meeting, which they do have probably every Wednesday or every Thursday. So they are given opportunity to go to their individual society gathering, then practice whatever they want to practice. But whenever they are, if, if they, 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 they are, they are in the school, they are not supposed to, in any way, use hijab. I thought an Islamist, a learned Islamist, spoke up that it is, it is not normal. Any, any parent, Islamic parent, that wants his or her daughter to use a, 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 a hijab should take that child to a school that is Islamicalized, a school that is... That, that, that encourages Islamic uh, uh, system, not in a mixed school, not in a mixed school, not definitely in a government school. That is why we have Islamic schools. Do you understand now? So you take that child there. So this crisis that is taking place in um, in Kwara State to me is, is, is baseless. It's not supposed to come up. It's not. It's not supposed to come up. Eh? It's wrong. It's completely wrong. It's completely wrong. The the the, the Quara State Governor, I don't know what he's doing concerning this situation. I don't know what he's doing concerning this, this situation. He, as the chief executive of the state, have the right to decide that look, this is what should be done, this is not what should be done. But he's keeping too much quiet concerning this. Or is he trying to compromise? Doesn't he know what is right to be done? Doesn't he? Why? Why has he chosen to do this? Why? This is not right at all. It's not right. It's not right. See what is happening now. See the crisis everywhere. See the crisis everywhere. What are we going to call this? Is it after they finish killing themselves that is when you will now know what to do? That is Nigerian mentality. That's Nigerian mentality. When we're supposed to do the right thing, when the day is still very young for us to work hard and make A, we won't. Now it's still the the the, 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 the crisis is still a little bit pressed. Instead of trying to take immediate action before it explodes, 
it will not. It's still looking like a maroon. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. My dear viewers, I suggest that the right thing should be done with immediate effect. Before this uh, 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 use of hijab or whatever leads to something else. Before it leads to something else. Because I, I, I am seeing this becoming something else entirely. I'm seeing it becoming something else entirely. And it's not encouraging. See, look at. Look at the, 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 the Muslim throwing stones at the Christian. The Christian so attacking them. So it, it is now Christian and Muslim crisis. In Southwest, it's crazy. Oh, it's no longer not the, the North again. It's now Southwest. Crazy. Crazy. This is crazy. This is not supposed to be happening. Where we have educated uh, elites, we, this is the, the we are in the modern age. This is not this this is not an, 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 a, this is not the medieval era, where, where where people are not enlightened, but we are in an enlightened world. We are in the modern world, in the modern age, where we have enlightened people. We have professors. We have doctors. We have technologists so why are we not behaving like people that are not enlightened that doesn't know the truth we, perhaps we know the truth but we are dodging because of selfishness and self-centeredness this is crazy it's crazy see the state governor should better do something before the going start getting tough because he will not believe it what is going to happen in the next few hours from now he will not believe it he will himself will be surprised so if he has been becoming biased he should better retrace his step and start doing the right thing because delay is dangerous so please my dear viewers do me free to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you